There hasn't been this much excitement at an Argo game for a long, long time. Those nasty Hamilton Ticats were in town for the Boat Guys home opener. Two vastly improved teams prior to the game. The Argos retired the jerseys of Joe Kroll, Danny Nikoluk, and Dick Shadow in front of a big crowd. Over 26,000 took in a dandy game. Doug Flutie gives him plenty to cheer about. Flutie fires downfield for Jeff Fairholm. Fairholm heads for the end zone. A 30-yard score. The Cats march right back. Matt Dunnigan lays it up for Matt Cody. The ball was right where it had to be. 7-7. Second quarter. Flutie looks left, then fires a perfect strike over the middle to Tyrone Williams. It covered 22 yards. It was 14-10 when Matt Dunnigan looks deep. He's got Marcus Grant. Grant is going to turn this into a 34-yard score. 17-14 tie Cats. Not for long. Doug Flutie has Tyrone Williams open in the middle. Williams cruises in for an easy six, 21-17 Argos. Late in the half, Dunnigan gets away from the rush. He fires to Earl Winfield. Touchdown, Hamilton. They led 24-21 in a seesaw battle. Third quarter, Dunnigan has a catch rolling again. He pumps once and fires for Mac Cody. Hamilton led by 10. The Argos defense cranks it up. Dunnigan under pressure. He is picked off by Ed Berry. Barry has room. He brings it back 51 yards all the way to the tie. Cats 12. Two plays later, Flutie rolls left and threads it through to Robert Drummond. Argos led 32-31, but late in the fourth quarter. Dunnigan with a quick drop and a toss to Earl Winfield. The Cats hang on a win at 38-35. Pete Rutgazer was there. Two key defensive plays in the fourth quarter, an Ed Berry interception which set up a touchdown, and then a Don Wilson fumble recovery which set up a field goal. It looked like the Toronto Argonauts had this contest in firm control. But Matt Dunnigan and Earl Winfield teamed up late in the fourth for a touchdown, and that sealed it for the Ticats as they picked up their second victory of the season. We were behind the eight ball, and we had to you know, pick up the slack and come back out and fight back. It was just one of those games. We let them get off the hook on that bobbled punt. And we're supposed to have a couple of guys go up there and force a punt. They didn't do it. They get caught up in the moment. He ran for a big first down. Had they kicked the ball, it might have been a different football game. But you know, we made some big plays, but also we gave up some big plays. And I think the big plays is what hurt us, to, you know, in the end. And you know, our offense was, was driving the ball all day, and all we had to do was stop them, and we you know, weren't able to mm -hmm. to stop them.